Hi everyone, I am Madison Hawkins and today I'm going to be talking about the social comparison theory found in chapter 2. First, I want to start off with what is social comparison? In 1954, Leon Festinger proposed this theory, which is how one views themselves and compares themselves to others, whether that is on social media or within your own family. You might compare looks, wealth, and maybe even intelligence. Psychology Today staff said, as much as 10% of our thoughts involve social comparison. Sadly, I have personally struggled with social comparison, whether that is with my peers or maybe even a celebrity found on Instagram. I also might think to myself, it, if I'm ever enough for my parents, do I ever live up to their expectations as a child? Next, I want to talk about what I want you to take away from this theory. You need to stop comparing yourself with others. It is slowly ruining your life and your self-esteem. Whether that is with social media and a, your favorite celebrity, or whether that is your brother, sister, or maybe your parents. A key term I want to define is the word perfect. If I am using the term perfect, it means what society has deemed it to be. Next, I want to talk about what social media and social comparison have in common. It is an unrealistic expectation. It is a perfect body, perfect lifestyle, or maybe even perfect clothes. As Claire Chamberlain from Net Doctor said, we see fake and edited pictures to fit the word perfect, and we view them as something we want to be. This affects our self-esteem by feeling we are never good enough and we want to change how we are, says Chamberlain. Next is family comparison. You might feel worthless if you're ever compared to a sibling, such as, are you athletic enough as your brother or sister? Or maybe, are you intelligent enough as your mom or your dad? This slowly is deteriorating our confidence. Believe it or not, family comparison can lead to an eating disorder. As Basil2020 said, more over 5.7% of females and 1.2% of adolescent males in the community samples showed eating disorders, which is absolutely unbelievable and sad at the same time. Next, I want to talk about everyday communication with social comparison. It is how you view yourself and how you view others. An example would be when you're speaking with someone, you might judge their appearance at first glance. It affects your tone and involvement in the conversation. You might be thinking this person looks better than me. They have nicer clothes than me or their hair is better than mine. You're distracted and you're slowly putting yourself down and that will always stay in the back of your mind while having this conversation. How you can improve conversations is by focusing on what truly matters. Nothing in this world matters more than what is right in front of you. And you just need to focus on that. An example would be ways to improve your communication is focusing on why you're having this conversation with this said person. I suggest that you look at their face and into their eyes, not their body or their clothes. In conclusion, social comparison is a very toxic mindset. Social media defines society's perfect, but not ours. Family are the ones who love you the most and they should never judge you for who you are and what you have to bring to the table. We, as the new generation, need to stop with the comparison. We are slowly killing our self-esteem and it is ruining us as humans. We need to start loving ourselves, who we are and what we bring to the table as a human. Whether that is with social media block out all the celebrities and what they're wearing because at the end of the day it's most likely fake and edited and with your family 
block out all the negative comments. You are who you are and stay true to yourself. Thank you.